Hello and welcome to another tutorial from BD Pro Productions. So, this is part 2 of the tracking tutorial, but now it's not about tracking, it's about masking. Because in a previous tutorial, which link you can find in the description, we talked about uh, tracking although some object moves over the tracking markers. And as you can see, we did a really cool, nice and proper track. But now we have the problem because we used the tracking for a shape to cover the tracking markers. And we have the problem that the object which is moving over the tracking markers is now covered by the shape we tracked onto the building. Um, how to deal with that? No, well, there are a few options. First of all, uh, you could uh, duplicate the original footage, set it on top, and then mask out every single frame till you can see the layer underneath it. That's not good. Let's just say not good because it takes ages. Sometimes it works but in this case I don't want to spend 12 hours because I've got more stuff to do uh, to rotoscope this this uh, little spaceship out. <clears throat> That's ridiculous. So we're doing something pretty similar actually. So first of all the first step is the same. We're going to duplicate the original footage and put it underneath it. I give it another color so I don't get confused with it. So we have the blue for the layer and the brown for the original footage. So and we have not the red because we have peach. Peach, pretty cool. We have peach for the duplicated layer which is actually just the original layer. As you can see here the tracking mark has reappeared. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that layer again so we have two layers uh, from our original footage. So, next thing, we're going to the effects and preset panel over here and we type in channel mixer and we have our channel mixer here, we drag it onto the layer which is on top and select the monochrome switch here. So next thing, go again to the effects and presets and type in brightness and contrast. So you sometimes it's just enough if to type brightness. So we have the color correction here and the brightness and contrast and we drag that on the layer on top which we are working with. So now we have really nice black and white grayscale picture. Next thing we want to do is we go into the channel mixer and we're going to try to set it to 100 only by the red red. So next thing uh, go to the brightness and contrast, turn the contrast up and the brightness and try to achieve a really nice uh, contrast plane over here so that you have a clean plane on this side and this side. So looks pretty good to me but the edges are pretty sharp so we're going back to the effects and presets type in fast blur and select the fast blur. Drag it on top of the layer make it around oh, let's say two pixels hit the repeat edge pixels and yeah then you're good to go <clears throat> so next thing is we're going to uh, select the layer underneath the layer we just added it and then if you see this over here we go to toggle switch modes and then we have the, the blend modes over here where you can see color or add or lightning or normal or dissolved and then we go back here to the track mat and we select the luma inverted mat for pre-comp one which is basically the layer above it and see what this does you can see we have here a layer which we had over the spaceship and now it magically disappears. So what we just did was we had 
our uh, layer or pre-comp layer with the uh, black and white and brightness and contrast and created something like an uh, alpha channel layer so we have the alpha channel that the white is usually the white is stuff that it's visible and the black is something that's not visible but uh, since we got the uh, luma inverted map we just turned it the other way around and had a black one where it's visible and since the spaceship is the part which is visible we automatically track this one out it's like keying with no green screen so as you can see we have no problems the thing is uh, flying over a layer without um, yeah without being covered or cut out or something it might be sometimes a bit difficult to get a nice and clean uh, layer but sometimes when you're having uh, just a little hole or something like that you can also use the pen tool and draw a, a, a rough shape around it and then track it with uh, the stopwatch if you want to make it really nice and clean that's basically it everybody so if you have any problems with tracking uh, and masking I hope they're gone for now and I hope uh, it was helpful and you liked this tutorial if you did so please do so and share it show it to your friends uh, you can also uh, suggest me new tutorials on my Facebook page or Instagram account. The links are in the description or you can also see them at the end of the tutorial. So that's it for now and I hope I see you soon on BD Pro Productions. Bye!